Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at lobbytools.com. In the initial ruling against the NRA, the judge described the state's age limit of 21 to purchase a firearm as falling into a, quote, constitutional no man's land. The NRA's Marion Hammer doesn't see it that way. 18 to 21 year olds are full adults with all the rights and responsibilities of adulthood. Nancy Fry with Moms Demand Action argues it's within a state's right to put age restrictions on firearms in the name of public safety. Firearm homicides are four times as likely to be committed by someone between the ages of 18 to 20. The ruling did express concerns that the state's law could have the largest impact on 18 to 20 year olds who could benefit the most from having a gun. Under the law, 18 to 20 year olds can be gifted a gun by a family member, but for those without a family, the law acts as a total ban. To deny that single mother who has a child and a home to protect the right to protect herself and her child is just totally wrong. Supporters of the law argue history is on their side. There's 150 years of case law showing uh, a purchase age of 21 for guns. And it's that history on which the district judge based his decision. At the appellate court level, however, there is more flexibility to divert from precedent, making it difficult to predict the ultimate outcome of this case. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.